Hi guys, it's another tutorial Tuesday. Yes. Okay, this is New World Empire channel. If you're just stopping by for the first time, welcome. And my name is Ria Sachs, and with me in the studio today is Mo Sachs. Today we just want to show you um, some basic warm up as a saxophonist that you should be doing every day. And uh, just a short class. Stay tuned and keep learning. All right, guys. Yes. All right, here we are. We're here again to teach you some basic things that will help you increase your speed. There was a class I taught on how to increase your speed as a saxophonist. And this one, uh, while I was teaching my student on Skype, I, got, I stumbled across this, um, this exercise that I feel is so necessary. And I feel I should teach everyone on YouTube. All right, um, let's take it again. And uh, we're going to use the normal diatonic scale and the pentatonic scale to teach you um, so many things about uh, what you should be doing so that your fingering will be, you know, will, be, will improve in speed. Uh, we taught on permutation. Permutation is going to help you. Do re mi, re mi fa, mi fa so, da, 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 da. If you keep practicing those things, they are daily warm ups. But this one is just something that helps you to increase your speed, and then it will just help you to increase your speed. And then it's going to be simple. All right, it's so simple. You just take a, um, your key C, for example. It's just going. You're doing three times. Do re mi fa so fa mi re do re mi fa so fa mi re do re mi fa so fa mi re do do re mi fa so fa mi re do re mi fa so fa mi re do re mi fa so fa mi re do. Come say it's going to help you to how to perfect this your octave key. Octave key here is what you need. It's going to Goes very sax is best on this kind of exercise. <laughs> so, so sax, you know, Guy. when they come to exercise, very sax is the best. So, uh -huh. sax, you're going to help us now. <laughs> oh, yeah, daily warm up. That I mean, oh, yeah, let do your what do you do daily? Do your daily warm up based on this exercise. So, let's go now. All right, very sax. <laughs>
that's how that's what exercise. When you start, that is gonna be like that. I don't want us to fake it for you that it's easy. Yeah. Just go ahead and learn it. It's not as easy as it sounds. It's when you are now because it's going to help your finger. Christos, what do you want to do? Do you want to cover? Do you want to blow stacks? Young man, keep quiet. Alright, guys, let's go. Alright, that's Christos Try to, you know, making noise. Come and say hi. Come and say hi. Oh, come on. Just come and say hi. No, carry him, bring him. All right, Christos want to say hi. Be it on him. Christos want to say hi. Say hi. He want to be in the video. All right, Christos, your students are watching online, so don't worry. Cut. You want to blow the saxophone? Leave it, leave it, not now. All right. All right, take it. Come on, carry it. All right, let's go now. <laughs> So you try and start very slow, then increase your speed. Something like this. Not as easy as you think. <laughs> All right, so Versax. Yeah. Then after that, you go to the next key, which is your D. No, let's finish that twenty first. So you go to the next key. Versax, that if I were you, I'll just take it major keys. Huh? <laughs>
That that goes so you can continue to your uh, to the register your convenience. That is most convenient for you. So the next thing is you can go to another key if you like, which is. Uh, <laughs> That key again. Okay, then. It's not as easy as you think. Yeah. It's not as easy as you think because sometimes your finger is pain. It shows that you are stretching your fingers. You are stretching your fingers. All right. So guys, that is the exercise we are talking about. So it's not as easy as you think. You just have to continue doing it. Oh, now let me start again from my key C. I'm going to take it from my key C and I'll take it down to my key. I'll take it down to my key. Let me take C to C. Major, 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 major as we go. So are we ready now? <laughs> I'm not even started missing it. <laughs> Now, anyone that is giving you challenge, 
as you are going, stay on that one. So I'm going to stay on. <laughs> You see, I'm getting it now. Because I stayed on it, I begin to get it. It means I need to work on my finger in that particular area. So. You see, I didn't miss it again. Then I go to the next key. I think I'm okay on that side. All right, so that's how it goes. Then take E. Then you take your F now. You find yourself confusing the keys. You find yourself confusing the keys. Then that means you don't let the key stay on that key. <laughs> Okay, so you go to the next key, which is my key G. If you notice that G is giving me challenge, so I'm going to stay on G. Like a rehearsal for me. It's looking like I'm rehearsing. Yes, let me rehearse. So just to teach you. This is how we rehearse. This is how you get your fingers acquainted. I left this thing for a long time, and I'm going back to it now. It's looking as if my fingers are hard. That's why it's supposed to be something you do every day. Something you do every day. 
Now, one thing that's going to help you if you are doing this exercise, go and check my class on how to master difficult keys. Check the links below. And then you watch that class. I taught in that class how to use your alternative frame rate chart to, for your fast alterations like da 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 If you are using, sometimes if you are using the normal frame rate chart, it may not be helpful. Sometimes, should you stick to this dough, there are notes you have up here that you still have down. You need to decide, should I use the one I have up or the one I have down? What I mean is that you have a note upstairs and you have a, the same note downstairs, like notes like and they are the same, but they sound a little bit different, but they are kind of the same. They are the same. So now you now have to decide which one should you use. Most saxophonists will prefer to use this dough. This is a class I never thought of teaching, but let me just teach it. It's so small, but worth mentioning that this dough is the same thing without the octave key. The same thing as this dough with the with this dough with the octave key. Now, if that's the case, how, when should I use this dough and when should I use this dough? You have to decide. This dough sounds cleaner. This dough sounds moody with the octave key. Sometimes you see us using more of this, especially if you want to, if you notice. You are producing your note. But if it's a fast alteration, I can decide to use this though because it's fast. So I will notice that moody sound too much. So I'm like. You see, when I now want to re, uh, run it very, uh, con uh, play, sus sustain that though, I, I came back to this note. The reason I came back here is because I'm able to use this note to to organize myself. Are you getting my point? All right, so. Now, there's another note that you can decide whether when to use it or when not to use it. You can decide to use this, the higher dough. <laughs> this dough is the same thing as this B and this, and your middle side key, your middle side key. So you go. I'm coming. They sound the same. Since they sound the same, what are you going to do? You go. Which one is easy to do? Yeah, I'm, I'm having some hitches in this side. So you go. You get that? Then. This one is easier for me. I'll use it. So I'll use this do for that fast alteration. And so on and so forth. So I thought that in essence, in that class, how to master difficult keys. Especially when you start playing the G sharp, the F sharp, you don't have a choice. You must use your alternate fingering chart. All right, so I continue like that, like that, like that. Let me not bore you with my rehearsals. I want you to take it as an assignment. Go ahead and practice it yourself. Practice this. Then the next aspect of it, which is so interesting, is the pentatonic aspect of it. So you take pentatonic scale. <laughs> Then you start practicing the exercise to perfect your fingering on pentatonic. So you go. the pentatonic aspect of what I'm teaching you. So you just go ahead and then you just pick five like this. Five. You go to the next note. Five. 
you go like this. Go to the next note five. You go to the next note five like that. So you go. So you just take it like that. Then you go to the next key, D again. D like that and go D. If you notice a key, give it a little. Don't rush to the desk key. Stay back. All right, so I stay back on D. <laughs> satisfied with that D, so I go I go back again. This is how to rehearse. This is how to rehearse. I can go to the next key, my E. practice this kind of thing, I regret it. I'm telling you the truth. Your fingers is very challenging. It takes rather it takes persistence. But when you get it, it's going to help your 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 flow. So I go again. <laughs> Ha! 
Okay, I think I don't want to bore you with the others. Let me stop. Go ahead and practice. I think I will personally stay on this and practice it. All right, so that is just how it is. So you go to the next key, your Kiev. <laughs> That is the exercise I want to teach you today. You can go to G. Of course, I have me here, I have me here. So I can decide to use this me, I can decide to use this me. Depending on the one that my finger find easy. I can also go. That is the exercise. So, Versax is back. <laughs> Attend it to Christos. The young man wants to play saxophone by fire, by force. And then, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so Versax, that is how the class has been. Everything yeah, is going. Yeah. It, it's like Rihanna. It's not like I'm Rihanna. I'm Rihanna right now. Versax, I think you're going to take time to rehearse this thing. Ah. It looks as simple as. Don't worry, I know it. But take time to exercise your fingers. See, yeah. all my fingers are paying me now. They are paining me right now, but I think I'm enjoying it because I know that I'm investing my time on the saxophone. So I go again. I'm on C now. Play your the sax. All right, the sax. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, I think I, I think some of you think it's as easy as it is, but don't worry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and practice it. But if you do, I'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy it. Keys like G sharp, F sharp, C sharp, all those keys. My brother, my brother, my brother. You have to settle down and practice. But if you do, I'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy it. Versax, let us end this class. We go ahead and continue practicing so that we don't bother with our. I think you get you guys get what I'm saying now. Just speak do da tonic do re mi fa so fa mi re do re mi fa so fa mi re do. Re mi fa so la so fa mi re mi fa so la so fa mi re mi fa so la so fa mi re mi fa so la ti la so fa mi fa so la ti la so fa mi fa so la ti la so fa mi fa so la ti do ti la so fa so la ti do ti la so fa so la ti do ti la so fa so la ti do re do ti la so la ti do re do ti la so la ti do re do ti la so 
la ti do re mi re do ti la ti do re mi re do ti la ti do re mi re do ti la ti do re mi fa mi re do ti do re mi fa mi re do ti do re mi fa mi re do ti do re mi fa so fa mi re do re mi fa so fa mi re do re mi fa so fa mi re do ti la so fa mi re do that is the exercise then do re mi so la do la so mi re do re mi so 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 la do la so mi re mi so la do la so mi re mi so la do la so mi re mi so la do re do la so mi so la do re do la so mi so la do re do la so mi so la do re mi re do la so la do re mi re do la so la do re mi re do la so la do re mi so mi re do la do re mi so mi re do la do re mi so mi re do la do re mi so la so mi re do re mi so la so mi re do re mi so la so mi re do la so mi re do la so mi re do wow wow that's how I think I'm done these guys understand what I'm saying go ahead and practice it I tell you take out hours hours practicing this you're not gonna regret it. All right, Versace, right. what do you have to say? Ah, the class was okay. Mm, I think we have to speak to that camera. We have to keep rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing because it's very, very important. It increases our speed, and I'm sure it's going to do to yours too. All right, guys, for those of you that are interested in this type class, go ahead and register. Don't be scared. It's very nice, interesting. Very educating and very effective. No, nothing negative about it. Everything is positive, and our students are enjoying themselves. Okay, guys, if you know you've not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do like our videos. It tells us that what we are doing here is very, very impactful to you. All right, guys, subscribe, share to friends, invite friends to this channel. Um, your like is very important to us. Your share is very, your comment is very important. Please do see you next Tuesday. Bye.